Hey guys, so I'm starting with this tumbler that I found from TJ Maxx and it was $9.99. It has like this kind of weird marbly colorful print on it. So taking the lid off and stickers and everything. I just didn't like the pattern on here, but I liked the shape of the cup. Prepping with Mattify, then going in with some spray paint. First I wanted to do, I meant to do like a darker gray just to cover up all this marbling we had underneath, but it ended up being a lighter gray, so it worked out fine. Just doing a full coat of that. Then we're going in with Ivory Silk. This is a kind of cool tone beige color. I just thought it was really pretty and it was gonna work perfect for this cup. My glove kind of ripped there. I do have, I got um, those like dishwashing gloves. Again, I had some and I had to throw them away. So that's why I'm just using the latex gloves. So then going in with this fluorescent pink, I actually had a layer of epoxy on there. I don't know where the footage went for that, but I find that sometimes when you're using different paints uh, on top of other paints, it can just kind of fade and look weird. So what I did is do a layer of epoxy in between. So that way your fluorescent paint is not going to kind of seep into the other color. It's just gonna sit on top of the epoxy and just be a bright color. So I'm just kind of doing an ombre effect, kind of fading it towards the top. And you can keep it like this if you want. I actually did more after I filmed and that's what we're looking like. So I took some acetone to kind of clean up the top and I realized there was no way to just clean up the top and leave like that gradient. So what I'm doing is I'm just wiping off all of the excess paint and then as I go up you'll kind of see that it, it leaves like a kind of cool effect which I actually have some ideas for it to do a couple of different cups but just kind of swiping up keep cleaning it with the acetone until you like how it looks adding our second layer of epoxy. This is the Artistry one-to-one -one fast set. It's what I use 90% of the time. I just love it so much. It's thick and it dries so fast. So I was actually avoiding the paint just in case it's smeared. I've never actually used this fluorescent paint before, but it actually was fine. So there was no need to be careful. Don't think I'm ready for you. Then it's time for decals. So I have this kind of bronzy iridescent vinyl that I cut summer out. This font is in, it was the over app. They changed it to something else, um, but just a fun little font that I found. So then I did an offset in black for that little decal. And then I cut out some black palm trees. So I cut out a couple different sizes. I did one just larger one, and then I did a couple of just cute little pairs of palm trees. I didn't know how many I was gonna use. I ended up just doing one big one and a little duo. So 
looks my, like I cut a little bit too much into this, or my machine did, but it still worked. Just took me a minute to get it off the paper. You can have your cake and eat it too. If you choose that you will lose me too. So then we're gonna stack that right on top of the black offset. This is so much easier to do before you put it on the cup. So then just lining that up on my cup, I like to set it up and down. I feel like I get a better straight line when I do that. So just kind of measuring where I want and then sticking it to the cup. Then adding my palm trees. So I wanted to make sure that when you are looking at the words on the front that you can see the kind of palm leaves on the cup. Like I didn't want to do it too far back but I just wanted to make sure that you could see part of it. And yeah, so I placed that on the front there. placing the other two on the other side. Then it was time for a third layer of epoxy. And then a fourth layer just to make it nice and smooth because when you do matte finish, you want your epoxy to be 100% perfect. If there's any dimples or imperfections, you're really gonna see that on the matte finish. So taking Mattify and my little white non-abrasive pad, just get some on there, get your pad a little bit wet, and then you're gonna scrub in circular motions all over the entire cup. This is going to take you uh, anywhere from two to 10 minutes is what it usually is, just depending on the colors of your cup. And a cup that is a straight up and down is gonna be a lot easier. Any cup that has kind of bevels or ridges is gonna be a lot harder. It always is still shiny in those spots. So just rinse it off. And then you can dry it off and you can kind of see where it's still shiny if you have any still shiny spots that you need to work on. So right here you can see on the bottom is still pretty shiny and then at that top rim where it kind of bevels out. So I definitely need to go back in. Went back in a second time and just went to town scrubbing, then came back in, rinsed it off. I just wipe it down with a paper towel and then I blow on it to get it to dry and you can just see as it dries how it's just perfect matte finish. 
I just really thought this cup would look really great with a matte finish and I haven't done one in a while. So I was really excited about it. So then I just replaced the lid and she was done. I think this iridescent vinyl looks really pretty in a matte finish. I wasn't sure, but it just has that really nice shine to it. And I think the color just really pops. I am just so happy with this cup and it's just perfect for summer. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.